F I S H I N G. The Montrose Settlements Restoration Program has a youth fishing outreach program. We are trying to restore fishing that was harmed by DDT and PCDs that were released into the ocean many years ago. Our ultimate goal is we want the kids to enjoy fishing. We want them to learn what's not safe to eat in this area and what is safe to eat and how to find that information. I learned how to fish today. Fishing teaches kids different things about life. It teaches you how to protect the environment. It teaches independence, it teaches confidence. Fishing helps kids socialize, learn teamwork, and feel a sense of accomplishment. Finally, I caught a fish in my house! It opens up a whole new world for them. <laughs> this program is about education and experience and bridging those two things together to give them an experience that they'll remember for the rest of their lives. You can't replicate something like that in a classroom. You really have to be out there and experiencing it. I think one of the favorite thing is just turning the corner as we're walking to the pier, you hear like, wow! Uh, that never gets old, you know, just hearing their excitement over that or just being out on the pier. We are going to be fishing. This fishing outreach program allows inner city kids to discover the ocean often for the first time. This field trip can cater to so many kids because they all are coming from many different backgrounds, even though they may be going to the same school or live in the same city. Who's never caught a fish before? So the first thing we teach them is all the great fish that are fun to catch and good to eat. So look at all the fish that we could catch out here that are perfectly good to eat. At the beginning is trepidation. Some of them don't really understand what, where they're going to and what it's like. Even if they were a little scared at first, they definitely got into the hang of things and starting to calm down and enjoy the view, enjoy the water. It's definitely a good experience for them. The children are taught how to bait a hook, where on the bait to uh, place the hook. Just like that, and no one will not kill it. Some of the kids like playing with a bait more than they like fishing. Only a light bait is good. So we teach them how to do it. We show them how to do it. We'll even possibly do it once, maybe twice. And after a few tries, uh, they get a hold of it and they do it. I baited my own hook today. Two hands, let it swing. When it swings away from you, just point your finger. Do it real easy. Flip the bail over, set it up there, and wait. You gotta be patient. Sometimes the fish just aren't biting. And we as fishermen understand that's fishing. It's not called catching. We're never gonna catch one. This is my first time. Are you just waiting? Yeah. Catching really is only a minor part of the day for these children. The whole process of being on the ocean, uh, seeing the nature, is really where the experience begins and ends. At the same time, it also teaches them that fish are a resource that we need to make sure that we can take care of so that it'll continue to exist in the future. When a fish is caught, they will put it in a bucket and lower it down, and so that teaches the kids that this is an animal, we need to respect it. And I think that behavior really shows these kids to care about the environment. You already have your rods all reached up, everything's ready to go down there. Fishing is probably 95% hunting and wading. And my favorite part is seeing the kids catch their first fish. After they're fishing for an hour and haven't caught a fish, you can see their mood get a little bit down. And then when they get their first fish, you can just see their whole personality shine. Not usually they tend to remember the mackerel the most because we catch about a hundred of those. I just got a mackerel. <laughs> mackerel. I caught a 
try the mackerel fish. Way to go, Austin. You did everything perfectly. It's just a magical moment for them and for their mentors. All right, boys and girls, we need you to reel in your lines. So we want the kids to experience the joy of fishing. That is something the entire family can participate in and at the same time learn which fish are safe to eat and which ones are not in this area. So can I have you guys read this top one for me? Local piers and jetties have signs that teach the public which fish are on the advisory of not to consume. So what does it mean if it's on this list? You can't eat it. You can't eat them, exactly. So we don't want to discourage them from eating fish. We just want to make sure that they are aware that there are a small group of fish that have higher levels of contamination and should be avoided. I learned about contamination. Some of the safe fishing practices that we try to educate the students about is limiting their exposure. I'm going to show you guys how to safely fillet fish. There's the knife. There's the cut. When you eat the bones, right? There's a lot of different reactions, but they're always engaged. They're very interested. Sometimes in the fat of the skin, in the guts, and in the... If you are going to cut the fillet, make sure that you remove all the fatty parts of it, that there's nothing attached to the fillet. We lift up the fish's fin, the one on the side. Go like this. So, there's our fillet. If you're going to make soup, you want to make sure that you only use the fillet in the soup and not the whole fish. That's one simple thing, and I think culturally, that's a message that we've been trying to get out to communities. And there are certain ways to cook this fish that are safer than others. So, exactly, we want to grill this fish. Why do we want to grill it? Grilling fish is the safest way to cook fish because the fat drips away and the fat is what contains the toxicity. There's a game where they learn about bioaccumulation. Repeat that after me. Bioaccumulation. They play interactive games to teach the kids about different concepts related to food chains. We also have groups that teach the kids how to identify fish. They get to really experience something in real life instead of being on the cell phone or watching TV. It's actually there in front of their faces. Each kid can take something different away from this program. It's something that you will uh, enjoy the rest of your life. It's really well put together, great program. It's a good experience for all of us, including the staff, including all the kids. I think we all are very blessed. We all love what we do. We all love the kids. We really love the program. It's memorable. It's something that will be impacting for them, and they'll take that home as well. Our partnership with Montreal Settlement really strengthened our program and really improved our commitment to contribute to a better future. We hope that each kid will carry this message of restoration into the next generation.